Consider this problem. This problem explains us whether pushing is easy or pulling is easy for an object. So very good problem this one. Let us see what it is given. A block of mass 5 kg is pushed in case A and pulled in case B. This is case A, this is case B where case A is pushing and case 2 is pulling and it is by a force of 20 newtons making an angle 30 degrees. Here force is 20 newtons making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal as shown in these two figures. So here in the pushing 20 newtons making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal where in pulling 20 newtons making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal and the coefficient of friction between block and the floor is 0 0.2. So the coefficient of friction between this block and floor it is 0 0.2 given. Then find the acceleration A2 minus A1. That is nothing but difference of accelerations. If this is having acceleration A1 in case A pushing case and if it is the acceleration A2 in pulling case. So that the difference of accelerations A2 minus A1 we need to find in this problem. For that first I am considering that pushing case. Let us consider that pushing case the first one that is a 5 kg block that is kept on a horizontal surface. This is the case here. A force applied at an angle 30 degrees making with horizontal like this. This is having the magnitude 20 Newton. Then let us resolve this force applied that is of pushing force into two components. One is horizontal component, other one is perpendicular component like this. So with respect to this angle 30 degrees, this 20 Newton if you resolve into these two components along the angle always we are getting that cos component. That means this 20 cos 30 will get that is horizontal component of this force and along this we will get that 20 sin 30 that is perpendicular component. You can imagine like this. Fine. If this is 20 sin 30, sin 30 we know that 20 into 1 by 2 so that 10 Newton force downwards and because of this applied force we are getting a downward force component 10 Newton and a horizontal force component that is equal to 20 cos 30 that is 20 into root 3 by 2 or 10 root 3 Newtons we have. Fine. We got horizontal component and perpendicular component with respect to our pushing force of 20 Newtons on this object. Then let us make free body diagram for this. If this is 5 kg mass, a weight always downwards by mass into g, here m value 5 and g value 10 given so that let us take 50 newtons downwards and then this component 10 newtons also downwards. So two downward forces we are having for this mass and then horizontal component if you observe 10 root 3 newtons there is 10 root 3 newton that is rightwards horizontal force and then because of these two surfaces in contact we are always having the normal reaction that is upwards. Let us consider the normal force or normal reaction upwards here and then if this mass is pushed this right side always there is a frictional force along this surfaces in contact that is tangential force opposite to the motion of this object. Fine. So that we will get the frictional force this side. Simply to say the frictional force always opposes the applied force on the object. This is the applied force in a horizontal direction so that we will get the friction opposite to this applied force. Of course this object is getting some acceleration A1 here. Let us consider this free body diagram and if I apply the equilibrium of forces in the vertical direction, we will get the normal reaction first. Let us calculate the normal reaction by applying equilibrium of forces in the vertical direction. So that here R is equal to 50 plus 10, 60 Newton here. So we got the normal reaction R is equal to 60 Newton. From that, what is the frictional force F means? Generally, it is proportional to this normal reaction or the formula for the frictional force it is coefficient of friction multiplied by normal reaction. The coefficient of friction it is 0 0.2 given and the normal reaction it is we got that 60 Newtons. So that the frictional force in this case we got that 12 Newtons. Observe the frictional force in the pushing case we are getting that 12 Newtons. The 
frictional force we are getting in pushing case is 12 newtons just keep this point in note now let us consider the acceleration a1 in this case one so to get this acceleration a1 let us apply the equilibrium of forces in the horizontal direction here why we are getting the acceleration of this mass means because of application of 10 root 3 newtons force and of course we are getting that opposition force in the reverse direction frictional force so that 10 root 3 minus this frictional force that is 12 newton this makes the object into motion in the right towards direction with the acceleration a1 here so that this mass phi k is into acceleration a1 we are getting this much so that acceleration a1 in pushing case we are having that 10 root 3 minus 12 upon 5 let us keep this in box here fine let us consider that the second case and let us find the acceleration in the same procedure first by considering that the object phi k is on a horizontal surface and this time 20 newtons applied in this direction which is making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal so that once again if you if you resolve this force into two components one is horizontal force that is 20 cos 30 and the second one it is vertical component that is 20 sin 30 we are getting but 20 sin 30 already we have taken that here it is 10 newton so here 10 newtons and this side it is 10 root 3 so let us make the free body diagram in this case so that this mass downwards always weight that is 50 and upwards normal reaction will be there that is r this time observe that this vertical component of the force applied is upwards here it is downwards but here in this case upwards fine if this is upwards and we are getting that upward force 10 newton this is 10 newton and because of the movement of this one of course horizontal force component 10 root 3 is there and there is an acceleration a2 because of this applied force horizontal force and a frictional force opposite to the applied force this one observe the friction here in pushing case we are getting the 12 newton frictional force what is the frictional force in pulling means object is same the two surfaces are same even though the frictional force is not same observe that the frictional force it is proportional to the normal reaction in this case the normal reaction having these two components in opposite but here if you observe the normal reaction or normal force 10 newton is upwards here so the normal force is changing in this case that makes a change in the frictional force here consider this case where the normal reaction r plus this 10 is equal to 50 the equilibrium of vertical forces if we consider we are getting that sum of these two is equal to 50 so that normal reaction we are getting that in this case 40 newtons that makes the friction mu into r or 0.2 mu value and r value it is 40 means we are getting that 8 newtons frictional force so what we are getting the frictional force in the pulling case means 8 newtons observe here friction 8 newtons in pulling case in pushing case we are getting 12 newtons force whereas in pulling case we are getting the frictional force 8 newtons only we are getting a less frictional force in pulling compared to the pushing case so which is easier we can understand now observe that in this case frictional force in pushing is greater than frictional force in pulling so that always pulling is easy because of less frictional force we are concluding that pulling pulling is easier than pushing fine we are getting the we are calculating acceleration in the second case in the same procedure first in the horizontal direction if you apply the equilibrium of forces observe that 10 root 3 minus f that should be equal to this mass multiplied by acceleration that is 5 into a2 let us take this acceleration a2 now 5 take this side and frictional force observe 
it is 8 newtons that means this is 10 root 3 minus 8 upon 5. So what we need to calculate in this means difference of accelerations a2 minus a1. We got that a2 this much and a1 this much. So what is a2 minus a1 let us calculate now. So if you find a2 minus a1 from these two a2 a1 values I am taking a2 minus a1 here a2 that is 10 root 3 by 5 minus 8 by 5 and a1 minus of a1 this is 10 root 3 by 5 minus 12 by 5. Further we can write it as 10 root 3 by 5 minus 8 by 5 minus 10 root 3 by 5 plus 12 by 5. Observe 10 root 3 by 5, 10 root 3 by 5 both are cancelling here and then here 5 denominator same in the numerator plus 12 minus 8 we are getting that 4 upon 5 the difference of accelerations let us take the difference of accelerations that is needed a2 minus a1 which is equal to 4 by 5 that means it is nothing but 0 0.8 meters per second square so 0 0.8 meters per second square is the right option for this question that is the option c so the correct option it is option c here